going on guys welcome to too fast garage my name is richie vento uh, i'm going to be showing and interviewing cars on the east coast that are either modified exotics or have something that's different that a lot of people like to see the first person i'm going to be interviewing is my best friend james murata he has a 2016 mustang gt twin turboed um we've been working on it for like five years it's gonna be my first person i interview this is james what's up guys guys we're finally gonna do the interview of the car we showed you the driving clips i finally felt boost on a 2016 mustang on how much boost were we on 10 and a half 10 and a half how much how much horsepower is that 752 never drove a car that fast in my life uh i two-stepped for the first time and now we're gonna see what's in it let's go first thing we're gonna start with we're gonna start under the hood um james will tell you more about it because if i say something it's wrong is what magic happened Alright, what do you got? Well here is an on three performance top mount twin turbo kit, 61 millimeter turbos. Uh, over here we got a UPR catch can. Save the heads from all that oil bypass. This is the vacuum block. This is where all the fun happens because that's how you tell all the boost and everything with the boost controller. Uh, inside the engine we got ARP head studs, Comedic head gaskets, MMR oil pump gears, and a crank sprocket. And that's really it for under the hood. Well, for underneath transmission, we got a Ben Calmer Stage 1 TR6060 out of a 2012 Shelby GT500. Which, uh, by the way, I drove for the first time today and it was not easy. I just stole uh, reversing. And I, now I know why people high rev on race cars so much on reversing. Yeah, it's hard. It's a heavy clutch. Yeah. But it's meant for 1200 horsepower, so. Yeah. So not that I'd ever go that much, but still, you never <laughs> know. But it's got a carbon fiber drive shaft. Um, Blowfish bracket, drive shaft safety loop, with an MGW short throw shift there. Nice, nice. On the drive train. And now we want to know how you're not uh, breaking your half shafts. What do you got? Oh, we got 1200 horsepower rated uh, G Force axles. We got some Mickey T's, bias ply, very soft on the side. So that's what I'm talking about when they get skinny. That's oh, when yeah. You start swaying You're, a little yeah. back and forth. Yeah. Because I felt it as soon as you hit the boost, it felt like the car was going sideways, but it was actually the tires getting squished, right? It was, yeah. They were no, squished. Getting skinny. skinny, skinny, skinny. They were yeah. Going yeah. Out. Okay. And uh, then yeah. we're sitting on Airlift Performance 3P kit. That's why it's so low. So now we have some stuff in the back. 
Um, but we're gonna show you how, usually people that like to have stuff in their trunk still and have a, a airlift performance uh, suspension, how they still have room, but have the tank and the compressor and everything in there. This was basically it going fast, but. Yeah, and that's, uh, he mounted it from up top, had the compressor just fr uh, mounted to the frame on the bottom, and you still have all this room over here. But that air compressor, I actually have something to move it underneath, so we'll have a little more room soon. All right, next up, we're gonna do the interior. Well, inside here, we can thank my girlfriend, Britt, for these nice red Brom seats and the Brom harnesses. They're not that bad, everybody doesn't like them, but I love I them. I think they're comfortable. And they're reclinable and stuff, like you yeah. can move them. Yeah, they're fine. You don't need a bucket. Back here, cause you know, race car, only two seats. We got a rear seat delete. Over here, we got a Cypher Auto harness bar. That's what these harnesses connect to. Over here, GT350 steering wheel. And that's really much it. On the outside, we'll start from the back. Back here, we got a carbon fiber deck lid. It's a little beat up, it's old. It's about five years old. But we got an MMD. That's one of the first things we've done to your car, right? Yeah. About four or five years ago, how long? That, about five, yeah. That was the first time we've actually touched the car where we had to uh, cut and Dremel, use a Dremel to take some uh, piece of plastic off. That was one of our like projects that, that was, was like. That was hard. That was hard. Yeah, but then we have the Euro tail lights. Definitely changes the whole end, back end of the car. And you know, snailing. We come to the front. What we have up front is a carbon fiber front splitter. Then we got an RTR mock grill, but it's a mock because these change colors. I leave them on the red, but these are RGB. You can put any color you want. Over here, we got Raxium headlights. Definitely way better than the factory. And our new Raxium turn signals. Turn them off. The way they do Show the them sequentials. How they match. Top here, we have a Savini stalker hood, painted black. Changes a little bit of the front. But other than that, that's really much it. All right, guys, we got all the cameras set up. We got a GoPro on the side, we got a GoPro inside. We got a GoPro on the tripod and we got my regular vlog camera.